order of land forms were formed first order of land first is the continent and second is formation of crust means continents and ocean formation have taken place in the first phase in the azoic or in archean there was no life on earth because earth was cooling down if the total age of the earth is 4.6 and to the total length of 4.1 billion year only one phase continued just releasing the heat, heat and it means this is the uh, the first and the atmosphere the formation of water water formation have taken place this is the first phase such a long time period and after this, since I am explaining it in very average form, I will not give much detail. I just gave you the formation of continents and oceans. But here I use the word in order of the landforms. I will take a quick review to explain what are the ordering of landforms. We use, since you have studied geomorphology, you should know the order of landforms. Of order of land. There are the three orders. First order, second order, and the third order. There are the broadly there are the three orders of the land forms. Examiner must have asked uh, uh, like Ganga uh, plain falls in which order of land forms. So you should know the order. First order means only continents and oceans. This is the first order of landforms. Second order of landforms are within continent, what are the relief features? Within continent, we have the mountains, we have the plateau. We will study the mountains of India, we will study the plateau of India and we will study the plains of India. All desert comes under the plains. So broadly there are the three uh, second order land forms. If I say in oceans, second order relief feature of oceans are, do you know the relief features of the ocean? Continental shelf, continental slope. Uh, abyssal plains, deep sea plains, uh, deeps, trenches, canyons, whether you have studied all these or not. Huh? I will I, I, take just one or two minutes more to explain the basics of this geography. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to discuss the physical setting of India without giving the uh, uh, pure conceptual clarity of the so like oceans, continental self is the second order. Continental shelf. This is continental. Continental slope. And the beach uh, or trenches. Second, third order landforms. 
simultaneously in the plateau in the plateau also we have third order landforms like mesa butti wide valley uh, uh, the gentle slope undulated topography we weird topography broken land masses so nice of you please thank you thank you so these are the second order landforms is it clear can you give me some example of second th sorry not th third order landform can you give me some example of the plain third order planes meandering very good bluffs alluvial fan, fan. bluffs cones very good all these are the third order i hope you can understand the is it clear for you uh, about the ordering of landforms yes sir this is very important parameter of uh, understanding the relief features of any area so this is the ordering but i will take few minutes to explain the basics of uh, uh, ocean relief features because without explaining the well oceanic relief feature how we can study the relief because more than 3/4 of the land is covered by water on the earth maximum uh, any any material which is available on earth in most abundance it is water still man is thirsty still there is this scarcity of water problem is most of the water is saline water non potable water unusable water water is if the fresh water is there it is available seasonally it is uh, uh, available in remote areas and uh, or we it goes to the sea street we are not using it so there is the but uh, let me explain the relief features of the oceans uh, quickly then we'll continue the geological time scale uh, ordering is this sometimes we so the first order land formation formed during the uh archean period there was no life on earth so first order first order land forms and there was no life on earth no life on earth in any form now in up to this time period from it started bp before present 4.6 billion if i say the age of the earth is 24 hours then the age of the man is 2 second man appeared on the earth just 2 second just a uh, uh, two second before so it, man is the last creature on the earth crust and which has disturbed the entire pristine entity of the earth so this is is the latest entry uh, like let me explain the relief features in the oceans always i thought you must have studied the relief feature of the ocean suppose this is the continent if continent the shape of the continent is like this the continuity of ocean is also like this suppose ocean started from here this is the msl mean sea level msl sea never remains constant sea level sea water surface never remain constant it's all always going up or coming down then what is the msl which limit is the msl so average of high tide and the low tide is the mean sea level so if it is like if the shape of the continent is like this the this it will go like this so the same continuation is called epicontinent this is the continent and this continent is called epicontinent or this epicontinent is known as continental shelf this is known as in geography it is known as continental shelf the slope is 1 to 3 degree 
angle of this slope. And it goes sometimes as maximum up to the depth of 250 meters. Maximum depth. And its width, its width is varying. Width sometimes 10 kilometer and sometimes it, its width is as wide as 300 km. In the east coast of India near Vishakhapatnam, the width of the continental shelf is only 10 km. But in the west coast of India, in the Arabian Sea, the, uh, around Mumbai, the width of the continental shelf is approximately 275 km. So its width is not uh, constant. Because if the continent has a mountainous feature, it will also be like this. So its width will be lesser. So its width is not always constant. You know Bombay High. Bombay High is uh, the oil field of India, largest oil field of, field of India, which was discovered in, in 1974. It was discovered in the time of uh, energy crisis in the world. With that give a lot of relief to the Indian economy. That is located almost 255 uh, km away from the Bombay coast. So it is almost, this is supposed, this is 200, it is like this. This is somewhere here. This is Bombay High. This is the reservoir of Bombay High. So, so far, 255 km. This is approximately 250 meter high thickness here and 800 meter depth is here. 800 meter. Petroleum always found between 800 to 1100 meter depth. Neither it is below this nor it is generally above. In the ocean, generally it is the depth. So it is the almost 850 meter depth. So it's a huge reservoir and we have more than 50. Uh, uh, you can say platforms, more than 50 platforms are installed on it. So we have the platforms and we have the platforms and on these platforms you know several helicopters are and we have the pipeline here. This pipeline comes to Mumbai like this and we store the uh, petroleum at Uran, U-R-A-N. You must be knowing if you have been to Mumbai at Gateway of India. Yes. When you travel from Gateway of India to Elephanta Caves, uh, uh, so there is a pipeline runs parallel to the coast, parallel to the your steamer you will find. That pipeline is, is coming from Bombay High, coming to Puran. Puran is a village near Mumbai uh, uh, in, in Raigad district where we store the crude oil. And uh, this is uh, basically continental shelf. All continental shelves are full of mineral resources. More than half of the global petroleum, more than 50% of the petroleum in the world generally found in the continental shelf. Even uh, coal, petroleum, magne, manganese, so many other mineral resources. This continental shelf is full of mineral resources. And beyond this, there is a steep decline, steep decline in the uh, here, and this decline in the slope is called continental shelf. Slope, continental slope. This continental slope is sometimes goes as deep as up to the depth of five kilometer. Up to here, it is only 250 meter, maximum 250 meter depth. This area is called pelagic sea. So, but it goes up to the depth of 5,000 meter, sometimes 2,000 meter, 1,000 meter, but maximum it goes up to 5,000 meter in Pacific Ocean. And beyond this, it goes like this, and there is one zone, and it is like this. Because you know, always in the ocean, ocean margins are basic. There is the, uh, I said, Continents and oceans, these are the two different plates. Either they are coming closer or they are going far. Generally they are coming closer. If they are coming closer, 
so they will they will form a kind of deep gorge or a valley uh, 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 you can say uh, uh, trench or a deep formation appears it means this landmass this oceanic landmass heavy landmass when they are coming closer if it is coming closer if it is going here this landmass is lighter this landmass is heavier because its density is higher uh, it is so it when they will come closer heavier will go down and lighter will remain up so it will go down so it is having the gentle slope here and it is stationary so this why if this wall is vertical here so they form the deeps and uh, trenches mariana trench java trench sunda trench karma deck trench uh, so many trenches everywhere where the volcanic island formation is there on the ring of fire wherever the volcanic Uh, plate margins are there convergent plate margins we have the in the ocean on the convergent plate margin the presence of this is uh, inevitable this is compulsory you can say this is the deep deeps or or trenches trenches or deeps so this is sometimes how much depth i said generally average depth of the Continental shelf maximum they go up to the depth of five kilometer. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five five kilometer is five thousand meters, and the max the depth of Mariana Trench is eleven kilometer. It means this small area six kilometer deep is here from here. It is six kilometer, so they are sometimes very deep. Only an arrow back there. That there is darkness. Only sunlight could penetrate up to the depth of 200 or 250 meter. So.